Welcome to What's Treading with Tire Review, presented by Apex 2022. I'm Maddie Weiner, and today in the podcast, we're joined by Renee Radabaugh, a 35-year veteran with the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company, who currently serves as its Vice President of North America Consumer Channels and Categories teams, where she oversees the company's consumer replacement tire business. Most recently, she led the integration of sales and marketing activities for the Americas with Goodyear's acquisition of Cooper Tire. Renee, welcome to the show. Thank you, Maddie. Glad to be here. Well, I, I so appreciate your time today. And, um, you know, I, I know you've held various roles at Goodyear uh, during your, your time there. And the Cooper Tire acquisition um, is Goodyear's largest acquisition in its 120 plus year history. So I'm curious, when you first heard the news, um, what was your reaction? This news was really exciting. It's, as you mentioned, it's a huge uh, acquisition for Goodyear. And so, you know, I was fortunate enough to be able to get started and work full time on the integration last year. We're coming up on our one year anniversary here. So it's uh, it's been really exciting, really, really fun. But yeah, the first reaction was, wow, this is this is exciting. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. And so just, you know, a year in, I'm, I'm curious, what do you feel are the advantages, you know, of these two tire makers coming together under the Goodyear name? Yeah, right off the bat, the, the Cooper brand is such a strong brand and it fits really nicely in the product portfolio with Goodyear brands. So, you know, Goodyear brand is, is a premium tier brand and then Cooper brand fits very nicely as a mid tier Cooper has excellent uh, all-terrain products. All, all the products across all the categories are excellent, mm -hmm. but it's just a nice fit in the product portfolio. Then, of course, there's lots of other brands, including Mastercraft, Kelly, Dunlop, but those two key brands, Goodyear and Cooper, it's like a perfect fit. So that was great. As, as we learn more about the integration, as I started working with the legacy Cooper associates, I really started to understand our cultures are quite similar. We have hmm. a, you know, we're both 100 plus year old companies. They're located in Finley, Ohio. We're in Akron, Ohio. We have similar culture. So the integration has been really pretty smooth. And, you know, there's still a lot more to do, but we've made a lot of progress so far. That's awesome. Well, that's great to hear. Um, now, I, I'm curious, and, and I know our readers are too, um, so what does it take to really integrate the sales and marketing um, activities of two huge publicly traded corporations like Goodyear and Cooper? That's such a large undertaking. Yes, you're absolutely right. It's, it's a big, big project. Um, right from the beginning, we started out and we created guiding principles for the integration. And the number one guiding principle is was to maintain both of the businesses, the continuity of the Cooper business and the Goodyear business. We didn't want to be very disruptive and create a lot of changes right up front. So mm -hmm. we've been following that guiding principle. Um, another key guiding principle we've had is to learn from each other. So we're looking at the processes and the systems that Cooper has and that Goodyear has and trying to really take the best of both. That's, that's including people and you know, processes. So that was another guiding principle that we're really following. But the we are following a very um, structured process to do this integration. So it is, uh, it is big, it is challenging. But I think just going through it with this structure that we're doing and following these guiding principles, it's been pretty smooth. And I have to say, I, as I'm out visiting with our customers, I feel mm -hmm. like they are pretty supportive and understanding. They understand the, the size of the project and they've been positive about, you know, the progress that we've made so far and, you know, what's yet to come, the opportunities that, that we all have. Right, for sure. Well, that, that's great to hear. So, so what are some of those uh, changes that, um, you know, maybe Goodyear has implemented either uh, to streamline dealer communications, uh, purchasing, uh, anything along those lines or, or just uh, maybe internally that, that you know, uh, you, you feel is a big change as well. Yeah, um, we started out in some of the high level functions, you know, as you know, we, we now report our financials together. So finance was integrated early on. There's, uh, we started out pretty early on integrating some of the high level management teams. So we have people in 
we have Cooper legacy people, we call them in manufacturing and in supply chain. And even more recently, now we do have some leaders in marketing and sales and, and even the category group from the Cooper team, which has been great. It's really, that's helped us a lot get started and, and get to know the teams and get to understand all the processes and the systems and all that. So, mm-hmm. so I think the integration of the people began and there's still work to do there, particularly on the sales and marketing side, you know, the customer facing roles, we're being very diligent and, and making sure that we, you know, again, don't disrupt the continuity of the businesses, but um, we've, we're making some good progress on that, the plans around that. So. That's great. So, so it all revolves around the idea of, you know, obviously not, not interrupting the continuity, continuity, like you said, of the business. And, and I would imagine, you know, the service that your, your customers are getting, would that be correct? Yes, absolutely. That's something we were very cautious about. We didn't want to interrupt service. We didn't want to disrupt how they, they work with their sales rep day to day. You know, again, we're working on that as we move forward in the integration, but Another pretty big project that we're working on is the systems integration. So the, mm-hmm. the, the ERP systems that do the billing and the, you know, the day-to-day order entry, all those kind of backend systems, that's a huge project. And that's underway as we speak. And we have a lot of associates working on that now, both Legacy Goodyear and Legacy Cooper. And, and so that is key. Once we get the two systems integrated, that opens up a lot of opportunities for if if you're a customer that currently buys Goodyear and Cooper product, then you can have one invoice and, you know, one truck can come to your to your warehouse that, you know, those kind of integrations will happen once that system is integrated. So it's oh, okay. it's really critical to to get that done. And there's a huge uh, focus and a lot of people working on that project right now. Yeah, I can imagine. That's huge. And and I saw um, in Goodyear's recent earnings report, um, or rather the call with um, uh, President uh, Rich Kramer, that uh, Cooper is also being integrated slowly into Tire Hub. Is, is that right? I assume that would be maybe part of those uh, different systems kind of <laughs> integrating and all that stuff. There is a whole work stream still. We have a team of people working on a distribution. There's a team of people working on product and brand work streams. So yeah, we still have a lot of work to do there. But yeah, that was one of the first steps was to have the uh, Cooper product in Tire Hub. Awesome. Very interesting. So so right now you're saying you're at the point where, you know, um, the systems are are kind of uh, the big thing on, on, on the plate. Is that is that correct? Is that right to say? Or it's a big project that's going okay. on, but a lot of these projects are going on simultaneously. So uh, there's yeah. also, if you think about the functions, there's supply chain, right. logistics, transportation, manufacturing is a big one. There's huge opportunity when we look across all of our manufacturing footprint of Cooper and Goodyear, huge opportunities there. Um, but that's a, that's a longer term project, but they're all, they're all happening simultaneously. Lots of work streams. The, the Cooper integration is oh, is impacting everybody at yeah. Goodyear and Cooper, and we're pulling in more and more resources to help us on these work streams as we as we get work through it. But um, yeah, I think the system is a key piece to you know a lot of these synergies and integration. Yeah, for sure. Very interesting. Yeah, it takes a lot. So um, Renee, that kind of rolls into my next question here. Um, can you give me an example of, you know, maybe some of the synergies that have already been realized between, you know, uh, the Goodyear Cooper merger, um, you know, by by combining operations? Yeah, there's, as you can imagine, there's lots of synergies. Um, some of them are what we would say, you know, low hanging fruit or right. relatively easy. So you might mm-hmm. have two vendors that we're using for a particular process that we could consolidate into one. So a lot of that type of thing has occurred, consolidating some systems, smaller systems that's occurred. Um, In the area of logistics, we did actually announce where we consolidated two warehouses in Texas Mm -hmm. to one. We had two warehouses that were very close together. So there's a lot of opportunity, of course, with transportation, logistics, some of the things that were fairly easier, um, like that example. 
that that can happen quickly. There's other ones that are going to take a lot longer or are dependent on that system. So the other area, um, and you had mentioned asked earlier about communication that. There was a trade show earlier this year in March that was combined Cooper Goodyear. Uh, so yes, we are getting yeah we are getting to that point where we're going to be able to, you know, consolidate a lot more of those types of events and activities too. Awesome, very cool. Yeah, I, actually, I think some of my colleagues saw you saw saw your team at that trade show. So very good. Cool. Yeah, very good. interesting. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Renee, um, I know you know you guys are in the thick of sort of sorting out these changes. Um, you know, you said you're, a lot of these changes are happening, happening simultaneously um, with the integration efforts on the sales and marketing side. So I'm curious, in the long run, you know, how do you feel having the Cooper brand under Goodyear will impact Goodyear's uh, consumer tire business, specifically consumer replacement? Um, yeah. Yeah, it's very, again, like I mentioned at the very beginning, it's it's such a nice fit. It really is. They're mm -hmm. not, they weren't really overlapping in the marketplace, the Goodyear and the Cooper brand specifically. You know, Goodyear's kind of a right. tier one brand. We're the uh, innovation brand and Cooper is what we call mid-tier. So it works out, you know, it really fits nicely in the product screen. And so in the future, as we work through this, it just offers more opportunities for our customers and our consumers to have that full portfolio of products and brands. And, and you know, as I mentioned, there, there's lots of other brands. I keep talking about Goodyear and Cooper, but right, there's Dunlop course. and Kelly and Mastercraft. And so a lot of other also excellent brands that fill out that portfolio for our customers. So, yes, I think it, in the long run, there's just huge opportunity bringing the two companies together. And it's a, it's a really, it's been a great fit. It really has. Yeah, that's great. Now, Renee, um, I'm curious, you know, we, we've heard from some dealers of, oh, I wonder if Goodyear, um, you know, with, with Goodyear and, and Cooper under the Goodyear brand, um, with, with the company uh, sort of absorbing a lot of different brands, like you're saying, um, are, are there, Maybe in the future, would there be uh, looking at, um, you know, uh, discontinuing a brand that might be replicated on one side or the other? Or um, is that, are you guys not there now? Yeah. Can you give? That's, yeah, that's part of the work that's going on as we speak. So we have a product and brand work stream within the, our group in, in marketing and category teams. So there's, you know, certainly they're looking at all of that where there might be overlap. We want to optimize the, the brands that we offer. We want to offer, you know, the fullest screen that we can to our customers and end and consumers ultimately. So, yeah, they're they're looking at that right now. There's no there's been no um, decisions around discontinuing brands or anything like that. It's still in the works, but it, it's about just ha having that offering that's the most complete for our consumers. Yeah, for sure. Very interesting. Well, uh, Renee, la last question for you. Um, you know, short term and long term, how do you see, um, you know, Goodyear's uh, acquisition of Cooper? And, and as you, um, you know, continue to streamline operations with the two teams, um, how do you feel it'll impact dealers and their businesses? Yeah, again, there's there's a also a distribution work stream. So there's yes, a team course, working yeah. on that, too on both sides, but I, I, for me, it's just positive. It's all positive, I think, for our, our dealers in the future, short-term and long-term. I just see it, you know, a lot of opportunities. We talked about some of these synergies. So there's, there's right. customers now that buy Goodyear and Cooper, and these synergies will also help them with, you know, efficiencies and, you know, simplification, doing business with, with Goodyear, with the new Goodyear. So, yeah, I think there's, it's all positive. There's still a lot of work that has to be done around that work stream. But for me, I feel like it's it's going to be positive for our customers. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, that's great to hear. And um, Renee, is there anything else that you'd, you'd like customers to know or the industry to know about, um, you know, these two players coming together and as, as you go down the line to really streamline the business? Um, anything else that maybe I didn't talk about that you'd like the industry to know? The only thing I'd point out is, and I at the very beginning, I said that key uh, principle is to maintain both of our businesses. Right. And we've been doing that. We have been uh, actually introducing new products during yeah. all of this on the Goodyear side and 
Cooper Mastercraft. We actually introduced the new uh, EV tire, our first one in the replacement market, the electric drive. So products like that, we're still innovating and still doing uh, on, on both sides, Goodyear, Cooper, still announcing new products and staying relevant in the market. So that was kind of important for us, again, to maintain the continuity of the business as we go through this really complicated integration. Well, Renee, thank you so much again for taking time out of your day to uh, tell us more about um, how things are, are getting streamlined as, as Cooper integrates with uh, Goodyear, all of Cooper's you know, different brands. And uh, yeah, we really appreciate your time. Well, thank you for having me. It's great to talk to you. Hi, everyone. Since we filmed this episode in late April, there's been a few updates from Goodyear on the integration with Cooper Tire. First, Ryan Patterson, Goodyear's Chief Operating and Integration Officer, said in a letter that by the end of 2023, dealers should expect access to a single operating system, combined sales force, and an integrated brand and product portfolio with Cooper Tire. In addition, if you go to the Dick CPEC Tires website, you'll see that some streamlining of product lines is already happening. The website reads, Dick CPEC is now undisputably Mickey Thompson. For more updates on the integration, make sure you subscribe to our newsletter at www.tirereview.com forward slash subscribe.